Hi there, Star Wars fans. Just me, Ted, 1969 here today. And uh, today we're going to take a look at something that I've had for a little while. And it's called the Woman's Day Book of Best Loved Toys and Dolls. It's a blue book that I have, and it probably had a dust cover at one time, because obviously it's not a very interesting cover as it is. And uh, basically in it was a lot of projects that could be built by women, and you've got the usual fair of, let's see if we can get this a little closer, there's usual teddy bears and knickknacks and uh, other things. There's a couple of interesting parts of this book though, and there's two things I want to share with you today about it, and the first one is going to actually be something that seems to be making a comeback lately. And this is among the superhero line, both uh, from Marvel and DC. Back in the 70s, Mego released six-inch figures, and they were uh, quite popular. I had a couple, and I don't remember whatever became of them, but this is one of them, and it's the superhero city that you could make for your kids and they could play with uh, the different figures. So we can see Robin and uh, the Penguin. I think there's some Fantastic Four and Spider-Man going on there. And uh, basically it was just a bunch of cardboard boxes. As you can see, hard to get this uh, mirror thing going on. So yeah, this was just a pretty cool thing and you could put other toys in there as well as you had them and get things going on. So they had all the layouts for this. How to make the different buildings. So that was pretty cool. You could basically make a small city's worth of figures. And there was elevators and a telephone booths to change in for Superman and so forth. Different signage. And it got quite technical as you can see with the grid work and everything. And uh, the next thing in the real prize for this book is the Outer Space Station. This, my friends, feast your eyes. As a child, this was like a Star Wars dream. And not only Star Wars, it actually... It's hard to see the whole thing on a double spread here. This is the whole shooting match, and it was big. You can see the figures here. Three and a half inch figures. So that is a pretty good size space station overall. You've got uh, the plastic dome, you've got a second level down there, a sub-basement, and everything. So that was, a, uh, it was really a pretty cool looking thing. And again, it was really well made. It was made to be made out of plywood, according to the, uh, the instructions here. And you can see there's different sections of it. And there's just some beautiful photography in here. And just to have these toys in the condition that they're in, in this uh, photo shoot, would be just a dream. They've got about 20 Jawas and vinyl capes capering about on this thing. And they're uh, obviously the prize Jawas these days. It's hard to get the pages to turn because they're so smooth. This book is in really nice shape. So here's another section, rocket launch platform. And there's the Jawas there. Uh, get used to this. There. So we can see the Jawas and some stormtroopers. Somebody was really into army building at the time before it was cool. Here's a close-up of the Jawas. And they're on this uh, conveyor belt bridge. Which was actually a pretty playable toy, obviously, according to the plans here. It was basically like a tank tread or a tractor tread. And it rolled around with a little crank and... Uh, you could get the bridge rolling and everybody would kind of take a fall as you go along. And there you can see Obi-Wan tricking the, the Jawas here. And there's just another beautiful shot of the main city. And you can see it end on here. They had like a little monorail. Every town needs a monorail. And uh, there's the different levels with vehicles, elevators, uh, tile floors, just sculptures, everything was in here. It was just 
totally completely there and I mean it was such a thing it would have taken somebody weeks or months to build the whole thing you know imagine you're coming home from your day's work and you got a shop that's capable of making all of these things and the tools to do it and uh, yeah it would take you some time to do all that properly and paint it and finish it and then have it ready for the kids probably use some good lead paint from back in the 70s probably what happened to me Not that I ever had this, but, and you can see there's actually some Micronauts toys in the pictures here as well. So that was fine for me because I had both Star Wars and Micronauts, as some of you know I'm a pretty good Micronaut fan as well. And yeah, there's Han and Chewie on this uh, personnel launcher. That was a big thing in Micronauts, you kind of just sent your figures flying through the air. It's probably a mine got all banged up. And uh, some more Micronaut stuff here. And it's a solar power unit, and you just did some stuff with little surgical tubing or bendy straws or whatever, and you made this unit. And there's the monorail, made out of a pop bottle, and uh, I think it was some kind of a curtain rod or something like that. Desk, drawer rail, something along those lines. So basically kind of that and then you've got something kind of like from Logan's Run type of deal you can tell all these movies kind of built on each other back in the day and especially the genre in general so those are different computer banks and that was the whole thing right there and then it moves on to the other projects but that was the two main projects was the Mego one which I thought was pretty cool to have in the same book a little bonus and then this Star Wars City so I'll just go back and we'll take a look at the big picture again here, just to give you one last look at it. I thought it was pretty cool, and there's actually websites that deal with all the book as well, and uh, everything in it, and the pictures there will be better than you're going to see here. But it's a really cool book, and uh, if you can find one, definitely get it. Uh, not sure where you get them, I found mine on eBay probably a, quite a long time back. But if you can get it, definitely grab it. And if not, the website, there are sites out there, I believe, that still have the plans and everything is PDF form. So if you're interested in making the build, definitely it's something you can do. So just wanted to share that with you and uh, hope you all are having a good weekend out there. And uh, just me, Ted, 1969, signing off. May the force be with everybody.